Hello everyone, Lisa here with What's Crafting Wednesday. Welcome. Uh, today I'm starting my fast and festive Christmas cards for my What's Crafting Wednesdays during the month of November. And we'll be making this card today. But first, let's do our drawing from last week. I have the two double treat holders. And let me get my tickets ready here. I did take comments from my blog post again since I do have some viewers or commenters that uh, do not use Facebook. So they do comment on my blog and on my YouTube channel. So I am including them again this week. Give that a good shake and mix them up a little bit more. And let me see who we have here. And I have Judy. Congratulations, Judy. Okay, I will get these off to you. Put these over here. And by the way, Judy did make her own double treat holder since our What's Crafting Wednesday last week. She sent me a picture of it and it was awesome. So thank you, Judy. I'm glad that you liked it and you gave it a try. Okay, everyone. So fast and festive Christmas cards. Uh, that's what I'll be doing the month of November. Cards that are easy to make and easy to duplicate and mass produce. So today we have this simple, elegant beauty. And I use, let me get the exact name of this here, uh, gold cards and envelopes. It's in the holiday catalog and it is a very vanilla card with gold trim and a gold envelope. And I use the gold foil sheets. And the, I don't have the package for it handy. The pine, we'll call it the pine embossing catalog. And for the sentiment inside, I use the poinsettia petal stamp set and the Merry Christmas from it. So let's get started here. I already did pre emboss this to make the video go quicker today. And so I didn't have to get up and disappear to emboss it. And this is, I'll get this apart here. Okay, this is how the card looks. It has this pretty gold trim around it, and it is very vanilla and plain inside. It does come scored, and the envelopes are a shimmery gold. Very, very pretty. Put that off to the side, and this here off. And I also am using, where's the spool of ribbon? I don't see it handy. It's um, the very vanilla with the gold edged uh, ribbon. It is in the annual catalog. Okay, so as you know, I always like to use tear and tape for the ribbon to hold it down. And I'm just gonna cut this in half. Put some behind here and on this side I'm just going to put a smaller piece because I want to end up tying another piece on there. Okay and I'll just peel off the backing from the tear and tape. I think everyone knows how I like to do my ribbon on the cards. Sometimes it is a little hard with the ribbon just to grab that edge. And one more little piece, there we go. And then I'm, everyone probably knows, but your grid paper can also be used as a guide 
make sure that everything is straight and even when you place it. So we'll just put that right across there. And then I'm going to take a little, where is my, I thought I had some snail, oh, here it is. I thought I had some snail lying out. Just to secure the ribbon in the back. And then I use tear and tape for the rest of it. Just to secure it in the back. And then I'll just put two pieces of tear and tape in the corners here. this off. I'm also going to use Tombow on the back of here. Now, since this has the embossed backing, you do want to make sure you get the adhesive on here good in order for it to adhere. And last piece. Okay. And then just put some Tombow on here. And just put it right centered on here. There we go. And I had another little piece of ribbon. Under there where I did not tape it. No, the scissors help me with it. There you go. And I just tied it around once. Much easier than a bow. There. scissors because those are a little sticky and just trim the tails now how pretty is that and then for the inside I just did a simple gold embossing with the Merry Christmas and when you emboss um, you should always use your embossing buddy it helps with any of the stray embossing powder. Okay, and I am using Versamark and the gold embossing powder. And I keep my embossing powders in these containers. I think I got them in the dollar store. And I have each one labeled with what color it is. And I also label my spoons that I keep in it with the color. So does anyone like to heat emboss? I love the I love the look, the effect of it, especially in gold. Okay. put the powder over it top it off and just give it a quick glance I see I missed a little bit of the end there okay that looks good now we get a little noisy I do have to turn the embossing gun on which is tangled here uh, this has two settings on it a low and a high the low um use what i mostly use it for is just if uh, watercoloring and i want to dry the paper 
and the higher setting number two is what you would use when you heat emboss so once I turn it on I let it warm up first so it's good and hot before I emboss because you don't want to leave it too long on the paper the paper can start to scorch also so I'm going to turn it on and it'll get a little noisy but I just need to heat it up for about 20 seconds Okay, that should be good. And then once it's good and hot, all of a sudden you'll see the powder start to melt and get shiny. There it goes. I hope you can see that in the camera. Beautiful. And then if you just want to run the embossing gun on the back a little. It, it helps if it starts to warp from the heat. Okay. And there it is. Can you see in the camera? And now, just fold on the score line. And there it is, fast and festive. And these envelopes are just gorgeous. I first was going to try and emboss something on the envelope because I do always like my envelopes to be well-dressed. But this was just so pretty, I didn't think it needed anything. And if you can see the shimmer in it. So there we have it. First of my fast and festive Christmas cards for... November. Now I see I cut this a little shorter, so I think I like that better. I'm going to cut this one, this one again, just a little bit shorter. Those are my sticky scissors. Those are my good scissors. Okay. So as always, I love to read your comments. Um, so leave me a little love today. Let me know what you think about today's card. If you like gold, um, if these pretty note cards with the shimmery envelopes are something that you would be interested in using for your Christmas cards. Um, let me know if you like to heat emboss. Um, just leave me a comment to say hello if that's what you'd like to do. So thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, again, the Merry Christmas sentiment is from the Poinsettia Petal Stamp Set. And I used, I'm not sure the name again, it's, I call it the Pines Embossing Folder. And these pretty vanilla and gold cards from the Holiday Catalog. So I will see you back here next Wednesday when I will be doing the drawing, starting off with these two cards and then going into my second week of Fast and Festive Christmas cards. And just a little reminder, my next uh, Christmas card of the month class is on the 15th and um, cut off for class with product. Um, has ended, but you can still sign up for uh, the class only. That would be the packets, the instructions, and the Zoom. And cutoff date for that is this coming Friday. So I look forward to seeing everyone again next Wednesday. And those of you who signed up for the class on the 15th. Thanks, have a crafty week, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye.